What is going on guys, this is over here and welcome back to some more Slime Rancher. Now last time we left off, let's just jump back into the game. The last time we left off, we went back to the, the, the Slimulation and we actually got a really, really good haul. We got like, what, 80 something like that glitch slimes that we actually captured doing a little bit of a better strategy, you know, actually aiming down some of the, uh, some of the like structures and stuff like that. Uh, you know, like some of the trees that, that looked like a pogo fruit tree that actually had like cuberries growing in them, you know, glitched out things like that and actually hit him with the, uh, the debug spray and of course just going up to the, uh, to the, to the Largos that actually had like a straight face, like a neutral face and just suctioning up those guys and then we had a lot of luck, uh, getting them to explode into a bunch of glitch slimes without using up our uh, debug spray, which is great. Uh, this episode, though, I don't know if I'm going to go back and do that again for a third episode in a row. I did actually ask the guys last episode, hey, what do you guys think about me doing like a whole episode? Because I got so many comments requesting me, I, you know, do this finally. <laughs> you know, going back around and trying to get all the treasure pods, now that we actually have the tier one, the tier two, and the tier three treasure cracker, uh, how about we just go around the map, see if we can actually find any around here, and hey, while we're out and about, we need to go find some of those larger uh, Gordos, because there's apparently a few Gordos that I've missed, and I even got some comments of you guys tell me like a rough area of where they need to go. I think the honey one's supposed to be in this bottom corner somewhere, so when you look for the honey Largo over there, or honey Gordo over there, uh, I think we need to bring mint mangoes for that guy. And I believe there was another one, like a phosphor one. I forget where it was, but it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt to check out that cave over here, where we could find the uh, the phosphor. Uh, like, I think they're phosph pink phosphor Largos that were in that cave. Might be worth it to go over there and see if there's like an entrance or something like that that goes deep down or something. Uh, and then, of course, for me to actually bring food. So, you know, like, was it Q-berries for the uh, phosphor one and mint mangoes for the honey one? I don't, I don't know if there's a third one. I think, yeah, hold on, yeah. I think someone said there was a quantum one up here, but I don't know where it was. I think they just said, hey, there's a quantum one that you missed, so... I guess we can spend some time going around here trying to find some uh, treasure pods and hopefully cracking those open. And then while we're just kind of going around trying to find tre uh, treasure pods, hopefully we can actually come across that Largo. And if we do, we need to bring uh, a pretty good amount of phase lemons for that guy. And I don't know if there are any more Largos that we would have missed. I assume we've had all of them at that point. I'm not really keeping track. Maybe there's some sort of achievement or so. Oh, yeah, you know what? Isn't there? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just thought there was a uh, there was a Gordo over here. I keep saying Largo when I mean Gordo. I'm probably saying Gordo when I mean Largo. You guys know what I mean, though. <laughs> yeah, there was a uh, Dervish one over here. So we need to bring. Uh, oh, what's the Dervish one eat again? Oh, yeah, the prickly pear. OK, so when you get like 25 prickly pear, 25 mint mangoes and speaking of such, there's one like right there. <laughs> uh, we could get a lot over here, I'm sure. Right. 25 uh, mint mangoes, 25 prickly pear, 25 phase lemons. And then 25 Q berries, and I think that should be it, right? You know, I'm like, that's all I could actually carry. Here we go. Let's grab 25 mint mangoes from over here. There we go. Grab those. And there we go. Oh, we have an extra one. Sure. I don't, I don't think it really matters if we have an extra one there, right? Uh, phase lemons. I don't want to grab those because there's only like 28 right there. I'll grab some over here if there are any. Nope. And these aren't ready yet. Man. Uh, I guess I'll grab some of these mint mangoes over here and just feed them. And then hopefully they're going to be fine. Oh, wow. That one like right away right there. That's crazy. Yeah, remember, uh, these fruit are supposed to last a lot longer whenever they're like hanging out on top of the soil and that one that just disappeared wherever that was. What happened here? My dino went flying all the way over there. What in the world? Oh yeah, isn't this the favorite? I think it's the favorite toy of the uh, the saber slimes. I guess we can go give it to the saber slimes. <laughs> that way they're going to be a little bit more tame, I guess you could say. Uh, but I guess I'll give the quantum... What are they called? Quantum rad slimes? I guess I'll give them... Oh, we already gave them one. Yeah, I already gave them one. I think I gave them a disco ball in there too. Okay, well, they already have that toy. I guess I'll keep this as, like, decoration or something like that, I guess. But, yeah, I need to grab some of the phase lemons in case we have to come across that guy. You know, just so we're nice and prepared. Or, you know what? We need, to, we need to keep some inventory space open in case we get some pretty good loot, you know? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll get the prickle pear because I know we know where the dervish one is. And the honey one... I know a rough idea of where it is, but I don't know exactly where it is, so we should have enough with the mangoes and the prickly pear. And then we still have some inventory space to actually grab whatever loot they may have, so you know what? Which one's this? This is the... Whoops, that's the wrong one. Yeah, let's go over here. Let's go to the boss blanket. And let's go explore over there in case we come across any loot. Here we go. If we come across any loot, then hey, we'll actually be able to get it. I think we actually had a... Yeah, we already opened up that treasure pod, which is good. Is there any other treasure pods over here, though? We need to venture around and see if we can actually find any around here. I don't know if any could be, like, over there, like, on that bridge. Just kind of going all over the place, you know? I assume it'd actually be in each biome. And I don't know if they'd be just, like, sitting out in the open or anything like that, but... Well, I wonder if I could, like... Can I skip over this thing? Like, uh... Doing this? Yes, I can! I didn't know you were able to do that. 
Now, are there any gold slimes or anything like that over here? Lucky slimes? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Let's see. So, if I went over here, and I think next what we did was... Oh, I don't think we ever went over here, did we? Yeah, because we always go up here, and then I don't know if we ever went to this island. So, you know what? Let's go... How do we get there? Just straight, I guess. Okay. Yeah, there it is, right there. Nothing that away, And that's where we always go. So there's got to be something over here, right? This is where the Gordo is. Oh, I'm seeing honey slimes already. That's good. That's good. So that's a great sign. <laughs> great sign. <laughs> that's a great sign right there. Oh, isn't this is actually where the uh, the slime relation spawns you in at? Yeah, see that that didn't really seem familiar to me. But you spawn in like right here. And then I remember this big thing right here and seeing a bunch of slimes, uh, glitch slimes, stuff like that. Yeah. And oh, that's him back there. I see him, you guys. I never came to this area until now. And then, hey, look at that. There he is right there. So we've got the mint mangoes. I think there's, these are his, right? Yeah, diet is fruit, so that's good. So let's give him a bunch of mint mangoes. We have way more than he needs. This is basically the Waffle Largo, or Waffle Gordo. Whoop, how many more? Oh, he's starting to jiggle a lot. Oh, he's going to explode. What are we going to get? Oh, look at all the little honey ones there. <laughs> so cute and so delicious, too. Oh, we get a slime key. Ooh. Yeah, we need to use that. Oh, we get an ornament from that. Yeah, it was the one with the ribbon, so of course we get an ornament. Whoa! Got a little bit of money right there, too. Slime key, boom. Let's grab the ornament. Ornament? Mosaic ornament, cool. We get a bunch of little honey slimes over here, too. Yeah, I guess they explode into, uh... How many do we have? We got chicken right there. I don't need that. Seven, eight. Pretty sure we missed, like, maybe one or two. So I guess they explode. Gordos explode into tens, which makes sense. Because we did that. Oh, man, there's Taurus down there. We did explode a... Uh, I don't even know why I didn't mention this in the intro. <laughs> we did explode the uh, the gold Gordo last episode, which was crazy good, you guys. We got a lot of gold ports from them, like 39 or something like that. 38 or something. 37, something like that. Uh, but we have over 40 gold plorts right now, which is amazing. We're going to get so much money out of that. Whenever we get over 500 on the plort market, golly, that's going to be crazy. Uh, but I think I remember seeing some comments of you guys saying, yeah, they explode into tens whenever you explode the Gordos. So that makes sense. We got like eight right there. Probably a couple of them I missed. So that's cool. Oh, there's a crate over here, though. Let's see. Yep. What are we getting? Oh, there's a phosphor. Yeah, look at the cute little phosphor slime right there. I don't know why I suctioned them up right there. <laughs> we exploded one Gordo there. And I would not be surprised if there's a uh, treasure thing over there on that random island. Because it looks like there's something over there. I'm going to wait until my stamina's like, oh, you know what? I need to go up like, I don't know. I was about to say, like, maybe I'll go up and then fly over there. But I don't know how much that would help me. I might just, uh, ah, because I would fly over there. Oh, I don't think there's anything over there, you guys. Oops. Uh-oh. Well, at least we have enough stamina, I think. Ah! Yeah, there's nothing here. Man, I just wanted to find some treasure pods and now I can't find anything. Ooh, what is that island? What in the world? I guess it's just purely decoration. It's got like big trees and stuff like that. That'd be really cool if I could explore that, but I guess not. Ah, go! Holy, I better have enough stamina to get over here. Yeah, see, this area over here, this is what we had in the slime relation too. But I never explored the actual area over here, I don't think, right? Wait, hold on. <gasps> lucky slime, lucky slime. I don't have, I don't have meat. I don't have chickens. Lucky slime. Well, then again, we're only going to get like a hundred or something like that from him, right? And I, I have to give him meat. I can't give him anything. I can only give anything to... Oh, he's coming over here, so I need to keep my distance. I can only give anything to the gold one. Well, that one's not good. He's not going to give me like anything, right? So I think it's just going to be a waste if I go over there and try and feed him like one chicken, right? So I might, I might just, I might just avoid him, even though I know how to feed him. Pretty sure we've already read that H, but I guess I could check it. Yeah, that sucks. But whatever, we have a, we already have a lot of money right now. It doesn't matter. We're at thirty thousand. I think we had like no money last episode or something like that. So we're up to thirty thousand again already. Uh, oh yeah, this is him talking about asking if we've ever been in love and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, oh oh, treasure! Oh look at that! We found one. Finally found our first treasure pod of the episode of us trying to find treasure pods. What do we want to get out of that? Oh, just honeycomb stuff. At least I have the inventory space for that. Hexacombs. Now, can I place down the? Uh... Oh, I can. Cool. All right, let's place this down right. Yeah. Utilities, warp tech, here we go, refinery link, boom. Yeah, and I guess I could pick up, uh, I could pick up these ports and actually sell them inside of the market link if I want to, you know? So that's really cool. Man, I can keep track of all the heck of ports and stuff that I have in storage too. I'll pick that up though, get a little bit of something out of it. What are we going to get out of this though? Zip. In the world? Oh, it was a rock uh, slime and a chicken and like a carrot and stuff. <laughs> Nothing too crazy there, but now it's nighttime, so it's going to be even harder for us to find the... Treasure pods are all going to be like dark and you can't really see them too well right now, right? Man. 
I think this was a Q-berry tree whenever we were in the slimulation, so that kind of gave it away that it was like a fake. I don't know if any uh, treasure pouch could be in the water. I was about to say, like, can we even go in water or else we die? But yeah, I think we've been in water before. Thankfully, oh man, there's a tar. No, it's a boom slime. Okay. Whew. Oh, now it's a tar. Oh, I got it right there. I got it from underneath. That was crazy. Is there no oxygen meter I have to watch out for when you're in water? I guess not. That's cool, at least. I don't have to worry about, like, drowning or anything like that. Hey, look at that. There's a crate. Zip. Ah, get out of the water. Oh, what are we getting there? Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a mango fruit. I think I think about editing last episode, I was like, oh, a mango fruit. Yeah, that's not part of the moss blanket, even though it literally is. I think I think you can only find it here. And of course, the honey slimes, that's like their favorite food. So I don't know why I said that. I don't remember if anyone ever caught that in the comments, but I definitely caught that while editing the video. Yeah, mango fruit. Yeah, kind of a kind of kind of kind of belong in the moss blanket, you know, just just a little bit. Yeah, we already opened up this. This must have been a tier. Oh, that was a, a secret. Oh, yeah, what? I think there was a. Uh... Hold on. See, now, now, now things are coming back to me. I feel like there was a cheer. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a crate right here. Yep. Oh, there's a Q-berry. We need that for, uh, for something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, the phosphor one. Well, we need to find it first. I don't know where it is. I just know a rough idea where it could be. But I feel like there was a purple treasure pot somewhere around here. And, of course, it was purple, meaning tier three, meaning we wouldn't have been able to open it that early into the series because I think we only had the tier one treasure cracker at the time. Yeah, we just opened up that now. Now, oh wait, hold on, isn't there a flashlight? Yeah, there is, hey! That'll help us out a little bit, but I don't know how. The whole entire environment is dark, so you can't really, oh, it might be up here, actually. It'll help out a little bit, but not really too much, you know? What is this? What is it, like, leaves? Okay, that's kind of weird. Yeah, I'm not seeing it right now. We're not having that much luck finding the treasure pods, but at least we found one, which is good and all. I guess we can go back to uh, wherever that was. Where was it? Yeah, in the, in the glass desert. Go over there and give that guy a bunch of prickle pears, and the, hopefully the dervish gordo wakes. Oh, there's a treasure pod right there. I'm not even looking. See, whenever I'm not even looking for something, that's when I'm going to find it. <laughs> see what's inside this tier two treasure pod. Glow cones. What? Oh, yeah, I need to do more decorations. I did a little bit of decorations last episode, but I need to do even more. Because, uh, of course. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think off camera, I, I, I actually got some phosphor, uh... Ports, so now we should be able to make some some more of those slime lava lamp things, which is going to be really cool. So maybe we could use those for some more uh, decoration because we only have one like right in front of our base. But uh, yep, there you go. Oh, so this is what? Okay, so these like little glowing cone things. So I guess if I if I make that decoration, we could have those all around our base, which will be pretty interesting. Huh? I think we can find any more treasure pods or anything like that around here. Oh wait, oh, pff, literally right in front of me. Boom, green one. How did I not see that until now? That's a tier one. Oh, we got actual loot right there. Royal jelly! Ah, we got royal jelly. Nice. All right, is there a place I can? Oh, awesome! Look at this. So I could make a. Uh... Hold on, what am I doing here? Here we go, refinery link. I like we already have the market link that I could just place down, pick up whenever, wherever, all that kind of jazz, you know. So I don't, I don't really need to. I guess we could see what else we could make out of royal jelly, you know. I feel like we've already read the royal jelly thing, and don't really give like specifics, like oh, you could use them to make a market link, and then also this. I don't think it tells you that, but. I guess we can always look at it again just to see, right? Let's see. What, where, where is Royal Jelly at? I think it's this. Oh, yeah, what else are we missing here? Uh, stone. Oh, wait, yeah, there's a stony chickadee right there. Oh, yeah, the briar chickadee. Yeah, we, that's like the only thing we're missing there. And yeah, it literally is. Everything else is filled in. Yeah, look at that. We have everything except for the briar chickadee, which we could find here in the mom's blanket. So might be worth it to stick around so we could find that guy and actually get our thing filled out, right? Royal Jelly. There it is right there. Uh, on the ranch. Fabricating slime science. You see, it's not really specific, like, what you can make out of it, though. It just says, yeah, it could be used for fabricating slime science gadgets, like the Market Link and probably one or two other things that I can't remember right off the top of my head. But that's cool that we got another one right there, though. I don't know how many more there are going to be around here, but uh, I might want to start making my way towards the end where it, like, teleports you back, right? Because I think we're closer to that teleport than we are to the teleport we set up. And there's a, there, yeah, there's a treasure pot over there that we have. We already opened up that, I'm pretty sure. Either that or it was a secret skin, I think. Not 100% sure which one, but I think over here should be the teleport out here, right? Let me see if I can uh, glide to the top and save us a little bit of time. Although, oh, there might be treasure pots down here we missed, though. So I don't want to skip out on anything and miss a treasure pot or two, right? There's a mushroom. Yeah, we still have the flashlight, which is somewhat helpful. <laughs> It'll help us out a little bit, just a very narrow spot, like right in front of us. But hey, still help us out, right? Now, if we can find any briar chickadoos, that'd be great. I'm just seeing regular ones here, though. And there's some puddle slimes there. Puddle, uh, 
quartz I can grab, but I don't need them. We already have some at home. And of course, our uh, oh, there's a chickadee over here. What is it? Is that a briar? No, it's just a regular one. Man, I need a briar chickadee as I throw that out like a piece of trash. <laughs> and yeah, there's the teleport back home. Man, I feel like there's got to be treasure pots around here. We're missing, and I'm just not seeing them. There's got to be something back here, right? Oh, oh yeah, there was, and there was a secret skin. And we already got it. Man. All right, well, I guess we'll go home then. Yep. We got the mosaic ornament, which we definitely, you know what? We need to use them for decoration, but I, I guess we'll put up inside the decorizer, <laughs> at least for right now. And then we'll go over to the glass desert here in just a bit and hopefully get a little bit, uh, something out of that dervish gordo here in just a bit. Uh, yeah, we have plenty of prickle pears, so I don't have to worry about that. So that would be this one. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Then we go back and yeah, there was the, the gordo that was here. That was like the tangle one. There was another one. I think, yeah, it was, the, it was the mosaic one that opened up the area or the pathway from like the, the end of the map, basically, to this big central area here. I guess I could show. Yeah, it was like somewhere over here. Or I think it was like right here, actually. It was like rel relatively close. It opened up like a pathway from like there all the way to here or something like that, which is really cool. So I guess there are three Gordos in the glass desert. And if there are only three, then hey, we got all of them here because I just need to go give these uh, prickle pears to the dervish one and then we're good to go. Oh, oh, any ginger, uh, no, nah, no gilded ginger here, yeah. When we're in the glass desert, we need to be very mindful of any gilded ginger, because if we can get another one of those, and then of course another three on top of that, we'll be able to get and then explode another gold, uh, Gorda, which is going to be crazy. We're going to be able to, you know, I, I did get some comments from you guys last episode, giving me some hints and tips and stuff like that, saying how I could, uh, oh yeah, then we need to bring, uh, what was the thing, yeah, the tangle one. We'll be able to get the fat. Ah, oh, yeah, we need to go back and. Hmm. I don't know. We'll, we'll worry about that a little bit later, I suppose. Yeah, like, I forgot. Yeah, there's still this fountain that's like up there. And then I guess we'll be able to get uh, an oasis over there. And then like one like right here. Yeah. Yeah, right there. And then here's one of the things we need to put one of the tangle. Was that the most? Yeah, that's the tangle one because it got the thing on the top of its head. Yeah. And then there's another one that was up there. I just don't know where the third one was. Did we ever see where the third one was? I don't know if we ever did. Because I know I was looking out for him. Oh, and here's another one of these right here, too. Hmm. I don't know. Need to be very mindful of it. Because, of course, we know where the two are. We could easily get the tangle ports. Ah. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, guess we'll just go up this way. Oh, I thought there was a crate right there I missed. Guess we'll just kind of... Oh, man, I need stamina. Guess we'll go up. And then we'll just glide over like this. Because I don't know if there's any other way to get in over there. But this way is what worked for us last time. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. So I might as well go up. Oh, wasn't it? There, there, there might be one over here. One of those Tangle uh, statues. I don't know. Maybe. But there was one that was like that we just saw. There's one up here. And I don't know where a third would be. But from up here, we should have a really good vantage point. Oh, man. A crate. Yep. Oh, we got a phosphor there. Yeah, we need to go look for the phosphor one. Should be in the dry, uh, not dry desert, but the dry, uh, I think I called it dry canyon last time. The dry reef, that's what it's called. That's actually what it's called. <laughs> so here's the guy. I think we already gave him one prickle pear already, so we can give him like 24 and he could explode, right? Oh, I'm not counting right now, so he could explode any moment. Just throwing these prickle pears right directly into his mouth. He's about, he's about to explode. Ah, I knew it. Ah, oh, he's gonna blow. What did we get? We got another slime key. Whoa! More ornaments here? Now what what if we not opened already? Oh, a crystal ornament right there. Ooh. What is this one? Yep. Ah, uh, pink slime, a little bit of money and a carrot. <laughs> what about this? Another ornament right here, because it's got the little pink bow. What's that? Another crystal ornament. Okay, well, hey, at least we're finding these gordos or you know, just going back and actually feeding them. <laughs> we got all three, I assume. Oh, there's one over there. Do we open that? Wish I could zoom in. I can see that. I, I can't tell if we've opened that already. Or... Oh, yeah, we have. Yeah, that was a tier two one right there. Yeah, we already opened that. I don't know if there's one up there, though. I guess we could try. I need to wait for my stamina to get all the way back. Yep. There we go. Oh, yeah, there's not one up there, I don't think. Man, I guess I'll go up to... Yep. I'll go right here. Yeah, you know what? Let's go home. Let's go grab a couple... Uh, I only need, like, three tangle ports. Grab those, go put them where they need to go, and then hopefully here in just a bit we'll be able to find out where that third tangle port statue is that we need to feed. Oh, here we go. Uh, then that's going to actually activate the, I guess the final fountain there in the glass desert. That's going to be really good. Ooh, I need to check on the drones. Haven't checked up on them in a little while. Yeah, they're they're really thirsting over here. Literally, 
because they're they're powered by water and <laughs> I don't have any water there unfortunately so let's go give them a bunch of water here make sure they're nice and ready to go oh man they're getting ready to charge up and they don't have any water right there so that's good that I got them covered right there that's great Oh yeah, you know what? We can make the chicken cloner. A few of you guys were actually kind of upset that I didn't make that last episode, so you know what? I might just make it, just for the memes of it, as well as to, uh, because well, I'm like, we have the ingredients, right? What are we missing? I need to go look and see what we're missing, though. And how are we doing here? Yeah, we can get the ash level up a little bit. Let's help out with that. And then we can go around the, uh, the dry reef here just a bit. Look at all this. <laughs> yeah, I need, I need all this. I'm pretty sure our pink, uh, slimes over by the slime signs area, they've got to be hungry, so you know what? Let's get them a bunch of pogo fruit and a bunch of whatever else. There we go. And we'll be able to feed them because I've got a ton of them over there. And they're helping out with us. So, hey, might as well help out with them because they're a lot of the stuff needs, like just general slime science stuff needs pink ports anyway. So, it's kind of why I've got them over there and why I've got so many of them. So, that's good. You might as well go help them out and get even more pink ports out of them. Even though we have like probably a thousand pink ports just over there waiting to be used anyways. But pink ornaments, I guess we'll put that up inside of the decorizer. There you go. And then uh, we even have some extra prickle pears that we could use. So, See, this is where an instance where I'd love to have that teleporter going from, I, I guess, you know what, let's, let's try and make that. One side of our uh, ranch to the other, that'd be really, really easy for us to uh, to just kind of travel around. I don't have to, like, basically pause or cut the video or anything like that. Me going from the docks all the way over to the slime science area or anything like that, you know. This will be really, really good if I can set that up. So, you know what, while we're over there, let's go see if we can actually make, like, a cocoa teleporter or a berry teleporter. Whatever other color that is available, because we've already used, like, two or three... Yeah, I think we have three teleporters set up right now, so yeah. Yeah, look at how hungry these guys are. Yeah, let's help them out a little bit. Boom, Q-berries. Carrots, I do know we need Q-berries for the, uh, the phosphor one. But I'm like, I just need to find out where that thing even is in the first place before I uh, try and feed it, right? And of course, Q-berries aren't really the rarest thing in the universe, right? So I should be able to get a bunch of Q-berries if I really need to. Uh, so I'm like, we have a literal Q-berry farm here. <laughs> I just need to go over there and harvest them, and then we're good to go. But all these pogo fruit, boom. Oh, this is full. Yeah, that's... <laughs> wow! Man, that was like a wave of pink slimes and pink ports and stuff like that. Jeez! Okay, I think I, I have a feeling, just a sneaking suspicion, you guys, <laughs> that the pink ports over at our uh, silo to the left of us, it might be full. That, that might be why this is full and why the drones aren't, like, delivering the ports over there. Either that or, yeah, the drones are probably out of water. That's probably what. Yeah, let's get them filled up on water. Is this full? Uh, yeah, it is. It is full at 300, so it was both of them there. So, let's see. Suction all this up. How, how much do you guys want to bet this is 100 right here? 94! That is so close. Oh, they're still eating. They're still eating. Oh, it's going to hit 100. 96! There's still some poker fruit in there. They could, they could totally hit 100 here. Come on. Oh, oh another one right there. Another one. We're going to hit a 90, 98! Come on. I said it was going to be... Oh, oh, oh! I just saw one eat. Oh, another one's eating. I can hear him. 99! Come on! 100! Hey, look at that, you guys! I was right! There's 100 pink plorts in there! And there's even two more right there! Does that make me wrong now? Because there's technically 102? I don't know. <laughs> Either way, yeah, we can put up some of the extras over here, because we do need them, like I said, for random slime science things, like maybe decorations or something like that. Who knows? Oh, you know what? We need to get the, uh, the, the slime hoop or whatever. That sounds like something fun. I think we already bought the blueprint. Uh, if not, we could easily buy it, I'm sure. We got money. Let's see, uh, oh yeah, and then butter, yeah, you know what, let's see, what, what teleporters do we have available right now? Where's that, a warp tech, berry, oh, it has to berry warp. Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess the berry one is the one that we have set in the glass deserts, because that's the blue one, right? Yeah, so, cocoa teleporter, I guess that's the one we could use. We need more pepper jam, we have two out of ten. I can get the butterscotch one, right? I just need to buy it over here, I think. Yeah, butterscotch one, okay, 3,000, sure, why not? Butterscotch, Warp Depot, Gray Warp Depot, Slime Ball Hoop, there it is. <laughs> guess we can get that, Pink Slime Lime, I thought we already had that. Guess we have something else then. Let's get the Pink, or uh, let's get the Slime Ball Hoop just for the fun of it. <laughs> there you go, I don't know, I don't know what you need to actually make that though, but we'll see here in just a bit. Oh yeah, and then uh, we have some drills that we need to go check upon, like the, uh, the Tier 4 stuff. We can go see what we're going to get out of those, right? Yeah, and then the Hydro Turret, that's going to be good against like Tars, but like... We, we, we don't have any tards like at all right now, so I don't know. It seems like it might be a little bit useless. And then, yeah, someone commented last episode saying, yeah, the, the potted cactus is apparently a utility. I don't know how this is a utility. A cactus found in the glass desert that slimes and other items can stick to for a short while. I don't know why I would want something to stick to a, a cactus like this, but I guess if you want to do it, there you go. <laughs> and then, of course, the chicken cloner. What are we missing? Oh, yeah, boom ports. 
yeah, we just need to go get some of those and then boom, we're good. Literally. <laughs> Pun intended. And then Warp Tech. Coco, Coco Teleporter, Butterscotch one. Oh, Silky Sand. Oh, you probably want to get that into Glass Desert, so I might want to place down a pump over there, right? Yeah. And then we'll be able to get the Butterscotch Teleporter to go from, you know, the docks to over here if we want to, to teleport that easily. That'll be really, really good. And yeah, it's going to be a lot easier than getting the Pepper Jam. We need eight Pepper Jam versus uh, two Silky Sand. Yeah, well, let's get a, let's get a uh, pump. So, uh, Novice Pump, I guess, or uh, Advanced Pump. I guess we'll get that. Abyssal Pump. I'm like, I guess I could try it. I don't know how rare that thing is, but oh yeah, it's really expensive though. Need uh, 16 more Boom Plorts and then uh, six more Dervish Plorts. So I guess we'll get the Advanced one. Okay, well, we need Boom Plorts anyways for the Advanced Pump. So let's go grab a bunch of Boom Plorts. We're going to need that anyways for the Chicken Cluster and the Pumps. So... Let's go over here. Let's go check them on the boom floors. Hopefully the other. Uh, well, the drones over here are probably out of water, so they probably. Uh, nope, never mind. They're doing. Uh, they're doing their job. <laughs> That's probably the one time I'm going to be upset by them doing their job there, because <laughs> now there's probably no boom floors over here for us. Man, I knew that was going to happen. There are no boom floors here. Come on. These guys hungry. They better eat. Come on. Just want to get some ports out of them. I don't know how many I needed. Man, I think they're all well fed, which is. I'm complaining about my slimes being well fed right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's so weird. Ah oh, man. I guess I'll come over here, uh, and, or either that or I could take some of these and go back over to the, to the, to the indigo quarry area and then find some boom slime. I don't know. Might just be patient and just wait for them, you know? And then, yeah, these guys over here, they want Q-berries and stuff like that, so I, I, that reminded me to go find the, the phosphor one. So, how many? We found the honey one. We found the, uh, the, 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 well, we didn't find it with the, the dervish one. We already knew about that one. So we got two. I think there's two more, right? Yeah, the the quantum one. We need to go over to the uh, to the ancient ruins or whatever. We need to go over there, and then we need to find the in the dry reef. We need to find the phosphor one you guys have been talking about. Here's a bunch of carrots. We can get to the pink slimes. Oh, nothing else over here is going to be eating carrots, right? So just whatever is left over from the uh, the odd onions here. Hey, go give it to our pink slimes. Get a little bit more pink ports out of them. Make it a little bit happier. So boom, there you go. Nice. So yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's go grab. Some some Q berries. Hopefully the docks have some Q berries for us. Hopefully get like 25 of those and let's go explore the dry reef. Oh shit! <laughs> let's go explore the dry reef and see if we can find any uh any new gordos over there. Mainly that one cave I was kind of being like, oh maybe maybe that cave has the uh the phosphor one because it wouldn't really make sense for a uh, a gordo to just be out in the open where he could be exposed to the sun to like not 24 seven but you know half the day basically or else it'd like die out in the sun. So it surely has to be like hidden inside of a cave. Where it's nice and shaded and it's going to be protected from the sun like a heckin' vampire that it is. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, definitely want to go get some, uh, oh wow, look at this, they need a bunch more, uh, phase limbs. Do they have them over here? Oh, jeez, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's grab all these, go put them over there with the quantum things. And yeah, speaking of phase limbs, we need to keep a few in our inventory to find the quantum slime, or quantum gordo. Oh, that guy's doing, he, he's taking care of the mint mangoes right now, so. I guess I'm just doing his job a little bit quicker for him. <laughs> Let's get him some water, though. Yep. I think we already filled them up relatively recently. And, yeah, I think uh, we have 30,000. I think we need 150,000 to do the uh, 7Z thing, right? Oh, yeah, and it gives us the royal apiary, too. Ooh, yeah. Hmm, you know what? How much are the gold plorts going for right now? Whoa, 602? I, I think I mentioned last episode that I, I just, someone said, oh, don't sell it for anything under 500. 602, you guys. I don't care. I'm selling. We got 41 over here. <laughs> this is going to be an amazing amount of money right here, you guys. 602 and maybe Mochi Miles is going to give us doubles here. Oh, is she ever going to give us a Oh, we got oh, three doubles. Four doubles right there. Oh, man, we almost doubled our money right there. From 30,000 to 58,000, we got $28,000 right there. That was crazy. Man, see, see, that's what I'm talking about. If I if I sold it at like 300 or something like that, that we saw, uh, I don't know, two episodes ago or something like that, when I had only five, go only five gold plurs, yeah, we would've got like basically nothing. We basically doubled our money just by sitting and waiting for the price to go up, which is great. And you can kind of do that too in the real stock market. <laughs> just hold and wait for the price to go up and then sell when you get a good price, right? Don't sell whenever the price is low. Just have some patience and it'll pay off in the long run. So, uh, oh yeah, I was going to give these guys a little bit of something. Even though they have a bunch of phase lemons in there already. And you keep about 25 of my inventory because that's how much uh, you need to explode a Gordo if you give it his favorite food. And, oh yeah, Q-berries. Let's go over here. Let's go see if we have any Q-berries from our Q-berry farm over here with the, uh, the fire slimes and all that kind of stuff. 
Oh yeah, we've got a few. This should be enough. Yeah, this should be 24 or 25. Yeah, we have enough. Look at this, 25. I'll leave those right there for the drone to take care of. I guess, yeah, that one's out of water. Whoops. And so is this one. Oops. I guess I didn't check up on that. So we've got enough for the uh, the quantum Gordo and enough for the phosphor Gordo. Now all we need to do is actually go find them. So let's go out to the uh, dry reef. Oh, yeah, you know what? Maybe you can only find the fossil one at night now that I think about it. Ooh. I don't know. Let's still explore out in the, the dry reef, though. Oh, yeah, look at these uh, things dancing. Do we ever check up on these advanced ones? Or the tier four ones or whatever these are? I don't think we ever did. Because you can get these, these work for 12 cycles or something like that, right? So it's hard to tell, like, what cycle we're on right now. But we're getting a bunch of stuff from these, which is good. I'm looking for mainly the silky sand stuff. But unfortunately, we're not getting any right there. So that kind of sucks. Oh, I can place something down over here. Okay, let's do that here. Warp tech, let's put the uh, refinery link. Yes. Then we can pick up some of the stuff over here and go deposit it in over there with our uh, refinery link, which is awesome. Now, look at all these spiral streams that we're getting right now, you guys. Cool. Nice. Or spiral steam. I got comments from you guys like a few episodes ago saying, hey, why is he? Oh, whoops. Man, a slime spawned in right there and jumped me up in the sky. <laughs> I got a few comments from you guys uh, a few episodes ago saying, why is he calling them spiral streams? It's, it's called spiral steam. <laughs> I'm like, the icon kind of looks like a little water stream, right? So yeah, a little, little, bit, little bit of confusion right there, I guess. Primordial oil and uh, lava dust right there. Put that up over here. Look at this. <laughs> He's confused. He's like, what is that thing? Why, why is it over here in my home? I don't know what that thing is. But let's just uh, grab everything else over here. Deep brine and the spiral steam right there. <laughs> get some more deep brine right there. And the lava dust. Yeah, I don't know. Did we ever get the lava dust outside of uh, the glass desert? I don't know. Because this might be the first time. Because I think we only ever got the lava dust in the glass desert. Hmm. But these are supposed to be able to get the, uh, the rarest things more often, right? See if there's anything over here. Oh, yeah, there. Oh, yeah, we already got that one. Man, I do see there's a crate up here, though. Zip. Oh, there you go. Oh, hey, uh, heart beats right there. Zip. What are we going to get out of that? A little bit of money. I don't know, probably $100 right there. Or new bucks or whatever they're called. Probably some uh, treasure pods, like, in really tight spaces. Like, there's probably one, like, down here, to be quite honest. Oh, I just need to be careful. I have enough stamina to go down here. Oh, whoa, what is that? Oh, there is, look at that. I found one, and there's like a water thing too here. Cool, what in the world? Well, now how am I gonna get out of here? <laughs> At least we got this purple tier three one here I found. What is it? Oh, actual stuff. Okay, well, hey, I'll take it. I have deep brine and lava dust, more of the stuff we already had <laughs> just a few moments ago. So, hey, I, gu I guess that helps us out a little bit. I don't know if I even picked up the, uh, the, the, Refinery link. Oh, 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 oh. oh, yeah, I have no stamina. That's good. I don't know if there's anything over there, but oh, I'm not going to risk it. Let's go this way. Oh, I don't know if there's. Oh, should we go over there and see if we could uh, find anything on that arch? I'm always. I've always been intrigued by that arch. There might be something over there. So you know what? We have enough. Yep, we have full stamina. Let's go. Ooh, what are we going to find? Ah, there's something over here. There's nothing here. Really? Oh, there is a trip. <laughs> Look at that. There are treasure pods everywhere. I need to go out in like really hard spaces. Oh, what is that area? Oh, wait, I think I know where that is. Yeah, that, that, that takes you where like the tabby, uh, the tabbies were, were over here. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. Okay, that's cool. It's kind of cycling around like that or circling around like that. Let's see. Here's where we have that tier two. Cool. Open up this. We're getting a lot of good progress done this episode there, you guys. Actually find the treasure. Oh, violet teleporter. Ooh, cool. So we have yet another, I don't know, that one might be easier to get than the, uh, the, the, what is it, what are we making right now? The cocoa or the butterscotch one we're trying to make? I forget which one was the easier one, but hey, maybe that one's going to be a little bit easier. We'll definitely have to check on that here, you guys. But, uh, I might have to go home to do, do that, though. Now, oh yeah, I didn't even put the market, or, uh, refinery link up, so there you go, boom. Nice. Pick that up. And let's keep exploring around here, see if we can find more treasure pods, or if we don't, maybe we can find that phosphor largo around here, you guys. Oh, is that the... I think I see another lucky slime back there, you guys. Boom. Look at that right there. Let's see if we can find some chickens. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Boom. Hen hen. So is that the, that's the second time in this episode we've seen one. He just ate it. Boom. He exploded. Gave us like $200. And then he's out of here. Nice. And I think he's just straight up gone forever because I don't see him down here. Man. Oh. What was that noise? I guess that's the noise of him like despawning or whatever there. We just hear a bunch of coins hit the ground at once. Let's see if we can find that uh, that, that, that phosphor one around here, though. I'm like, it is, yeah, it's turning nighttime right now. It's like 5 p.m., 5.30. I 
So hey, maybe maybe it's, I don't know what. It seems really early for the turn of night time to be quite honest. And that's where we found the pink gordo. So I, oh, there might be treasure pods over there though. Ooh, let's go over here. Maybe they're hidden atop the uh, like up here. Yep. Do we can find any treasure pods up here? Nothing. Well, if there, if there was one over there, there was one there. There's another one there. It'd be kind of surprising if they put a bunch of treasure pods like right next to each other like this. Cuberry fruit growing there. Oh, there, yeah, there's a secret skin thing there, so I doubt they put a uh, an actual treasure pod that close to a secret skin. Oh yeah, what? I think there's a uh, uh, some some treasure pod locations are starting to come back to me. I just don't know how to get to them though. Man, oh, pink slime just. He's going for a swim. That's what he's doing. Oh, I guess this is how you get over to that that pink. Yeah, these little th islands right here kind of guiding your way over to the pink tier three thing. But it's a little bit early on. You wouldn't be able to open that thing up unless you came back here a little bit later, kind of like we did. But we need to find that that phosphor. Oh, oh, he's going for a swim, too. That's what he's doing. He's not he's not uh, offing himself or anything like that. Oh, yeah, uh, I think there was a treasure pot up here, but I think we already got it. I don't know. Need to check. Let's see. Yes, yeah, we already got that one. Is there anything else up here though? Yep. Oh yeah, I think I think it was to get these like weird shaped things here. That's probably what unlocked whenever we got that uh, treasure pod right there. Because usually it gives you like either decorations or items, and I'm pretty sure that one gave us a decoration thing. Let's see if we find it. Oh, this is a really good vantage point from up here though, you guys. Yeah, like right around here somewhere like that is like where we found the tabby gordo, like right there. Yeah, I think there was a treasure pot over there, but I think we went back and actually got it, so don't need to head back there, I don't think. See if we could find a uh, phosphor. If, if there is a phosphor one around here, though, you surely would be able to see it from here, right? Like, look at this angle. Secret skin. Oh, yeah, that's where we got this. That's where we got our first secret skin. And I was like, oh, what is that thing? Oh, oh yeah, then over here. Yeah, you know what? Might as well open up this door. Oh, I bet it's over here. I bet it's over here, you guys. How much you guys want to bet the last one's over here? Because we've, like, never been here except for that one time. Let's go open up this door because we have two keys on us right now, I believe. Oh, yeah, you look at that. There's another treasure pot over here, too. So, yep, that's a tier one. And let's open up the door here in just a sec, too. Oh, actual items. More spiral steams we got right there. <laughs> so, open up this. And I don't know how many more doors there are, but we have one more key. So, pff, I guess we need to find something to open it up. Oh, it might be over here, actually. Ooh, hold on. I don't know. Where are we, though? Where could it hide? Maybe, like, right here? Hmm, is there, like, a cave entrance there that'll take us? Uh... I don't know. I'm like, we, we've only ever been here, like, once. And we kind of snuck into here that one time, so we didn't really stay too long. <laughs> and we're trying to... Oh, yeah, and then the circle's around here. There's some Q-berry. We already have the Q-berries, so... We don't need that. I guess I can gain some elevation here, and we can get a really good vantage point. Maybe see like a really big old, thick old Gordo just glowing. All right, whatever. I'm not seeing him right now. But he's probably in this area before uh, over here, right? I see him down there. We could probably find a Briar Chickadoo or... Oh yeah, yeah, this isn't where we can find Briars, right? Oh yeah, let's go down here because this is probably where we could actually find him, right? Down here is probably like a cave entrance. Jeez, I'm getting killed by these ferals. Oh, a lot of plorts out of that guy though. Let's see. Yeah, there's, see, this. there's like a pathway right here. Ferals right there, boom. Oh, you guys! Cave entrance, this has got to be it. Oh, look at that! Oh, oh, oh! Is there a gold slime in here? What's that noise? Or is that him making that noise? And there's a treasure pod right there. I think that's him making that noise. Okay, I was about to say there's a gold slime here, but I guess not. Hey! We found... Oh, we still have to find the quantum one, though, right? Yeah. Oh, violet slime lamp. What? I thought we already had that. Oh, no, I guess we had the berry one. Yeah, I guess it looks kind of similar. There you go. Well, speaking of berries, let's give this guy a bunch of Q berries, all 25 of these, and he's going to explode. Yeah, I knew he'd had to be, like, in a cave or something like that, shielding him from the sun. Boom, we found him. Ah, there we go, we got him. And another slime key. What am I going to do with all these? Well, these guys are all going to die whatever it turns into daytime, unfortunately, so that sucks. <laughs> Crystal ornament. And... Oh, another phosphor one right there, and a chicken, and a heartbeat. Yeah, I'm still... Oh, the gold one's got to be above us. I bet it's above us. Hold on, how do I get above us? Up there, okay. I don't I don't remember the phosphor slimes making that noise, but then again, we haven't really hung out with them too much. <gasps> yes, yes, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Gold. He just gave us three plorts. Oh my gosh, you guys, pure luck. 
pure luck? Holy heck. That's like 1,800 more new bucks if we can go home before the, the, the thing resets. Let's go. Oh, Tars. Save these guys. Save them. This is our home turf. We might as well help help out the slimes. We need to hurry up. The, 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 the market's about to reset in like 30 seconds. Ah! Oh, my God. I don't think we're going to make it in time, you guys. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. We have a thing. We have a market link. We have a market link. We can sell it like right now. Hold on. Uh, Get rid of it. Gold port. 602, 602, 602. Whew. Didn't get any doubles right there, but we still got it before the heckin' market reset. And we probably, the price is probably crashing through the floor because we sold like 45 of those or something like that today alone, right? A minute and a half until those are ready. Yeah, I guess we can come back here and check here in just a bit, but golly, what an eventful episode this has been so far, you guys. Unfortunately, didn't find the quantum uh, Gordo like I wanted to, but found like three of them or something like that, right? The phosphor one, of course, we just got that one. Uh, well, we didn't find the, the Tango one, or the, uh, the Dervish one. I'm like, we already knew about that one, but we kind of remembered him and went back over there and exploded him. And then we exploded the uh, the Honey one. So we got three Gordos explored this episode, found a bunch of treasure pots, probably like a half dozen, I'd like to say. And there's got to be even more out there we have yet to find, so I'm sure we could find even more, like, next episode. I had a lot of fun this episode, just going around, venturing around, stuff like that. And, of course, we sold a bunch of... Oh, come on! The price went up? I could have got a little bit more money. If I didn't remember about the market link, I could have gotten, like, what? What was it, 602 just a minute ago? I would have gotten 11 more. I would have gotten 33 more new bucks if I just waited, like, 20 more seconds. Come on. How many times does that happen? You sell a bunch, and then the price goes up. What? Ah, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> I, I need to end up this episode right here. It's getting pretty long. And, hey, it was already really eventful. We got a lot of really good progress done. Next episode, though, I don't know if we're going to do another, uh... Like treasure pod, like ex I don't know if call it an excavation. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to do another treasure pod Gordo exploration, I guess you can call it. I don't know if we're going to do another one of those. Uh, maybe we'll do, uh, you know what? Maybe we'll do all three of the uh, the missions for Moki Miles. We'll do that mission, you know, get a little bit of progress with her. Do the Ogden Ortiz, do his mission. Then we'll do the uh, the slime, what was it called? Slime Elation one? I forgot what that guy was even called. <laughs> I need to remember his name, I forgot it. But uh, we, need, we need to go do his slimulation mission. But maybe we'll do all three of them next episode and try and get some good progress going. Especially because now we know actually... Oh, and then there's got to be Boom... Uh... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Boom plorts over here. No, they just sold it all. Come on. Man. Terrible timing here. Now he's grabbing all the phosphor ones. You want to sell that? Golly. I need to figure out which one of these is selling the plorts. Make sure you don't have a water. This one. I wish I could grab the water back. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, all right, I just need to time it a little bit better. At least we're getting a little bit more money. Maybe next episode two, we'll actually have the 150,000. We can actually get the tier four apiary. Set that up over in the uh, the moss blanket. Get a bunch of, uh, hopefully, more uh, of those royal jellies. Because we did get one this episode, which is crazy. Don't know what we're going to use it for, except for, of course, the market link, which we don't really need. We already have one, right? So, uh, oh, you could use it for the refinery link, too, which we already have. We don't need that. Uh, we can make the berry warp depot. Yeah, I'm still missing the silky sand. Can't make the cocoa teleporter. I can make the violet teleporter, though. Ooh. Phosphor, wild honey, spiral steam, and strange diet. Let's do it. Violet teleporter, boom. Let's do it. Let's finally set up a connection between the, you know what, right here. Uh, right here. Yeah, you know what, right here. This is a good spot. Because remember, with these teleporters, you can only place them down, and then you, you can't pick them up. So, yeah, boom. That's a good spot. Let's go all the way over to, like, the docks or something like that, right? Oh, let's check up on these guys, see if they have any. There you go. Boom, nice. But let's go all the way over to the docks, basically to the opposite side of our map, so we can go from either here all the way over to here and just teleport that away without having to go from here all the way through this and all the way through this and then all the way through this. It's going to help us out a ton with just maneuvering around our base and stuff like that, you know? So that's going to be really good, both on camera and off camera, so... Either way, like I said, I need to end off this episode right here because we've got a lot of great progress done, so I might as well start doing my outro. So, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And, of course, while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as a new episode of Slime Rancher comes out. Oh, here we go. So we can place this the other side right here. Boom. And there we go. Hey, look at that. Now we can go between both sides of our base real, really easily and quickly too. Awesome. 
But yeah, if you guys ring that bell, YouTube will send you a notification as soon as a new episode of Slime Ranger comes out. You guys won't want to miss next episode because like I said, I definitely want to go do those uh, missions for those uh, other ranchers like I wanted to do for a little while. Definitely want to go see if we can get some progress done there and then hey, maybe we can go explore a little bit more and find that uh, Quantum Gordo because we still have the 25 phase lemons in our inventory right now. If we can get some progress there and actually find him, then I think we sh there might be one or two Gordos that we would have missed, but I that should probably be like every Gordo, right? Just thinking right now, I'm, I'm not thinking of any like slime that we haven't made, haven't had fed a Gordo, except for of course the Quantum one, which we might do next episode. If you guys can remember any uh, like slime Gordos that we might have missed, hey, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. But I feel like I've gotten like every one of them except for the Quantum one, so yeah, I think we're pretty fine in that regard. So either way, like I said, <laughs> I need to end off this episode before this hits like the hour long mark or something crazy. So thank you guys all very much for watching. Yeah, I'll see you guys here next time with some more Slime Rancher. Oh, bye there.